Welcome to the Pyramid Insider PCP-101 series. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the advantages that pre-charged pneumatic guns offer over the rest of air guns that are on the market. So right off the bat, probably the most apparent advantage that a pre-charged pneumatic gun has over a spring gun, a gas piston, and really any other type of air gun power plant is purely the fact that there is no recoil and that it has a very quick shot cycle. So what I mean by that, from the time you break the sear, when you release the shot, you do your part as we say, the pellet leaves the barrel considerably faster than any other air gun power plant type. Now, a single stroke pneumatic or a multi-pump is gonna be the closest to this, but just in general, PCP air guns are that much faster. And that is really what makes the difference in downrange accuracy. That and the fact that they don't really recoil. You know, a 22 caliber air gun putting out about 30 foot pounds of energy, uh, it moves very little. I mean, you see maybe a little bit of flip in the scope, whereas compared to a spring gun or a gas piston, you lose your entire shot picture or sight picture when that shot is fired. So by comparison, a PCP gun gives you the ability, if you're capable of it, of course, to have much better downrange accuracy than you would with any other air gun power plant. Another advantage PCP air guns have is their wide range of uses. So you do have your 22 caliber, you know, 22, 25 caliber small game hunting guns that range from, you know, 25 all the way up to like 50 foot pounds, for example, which are capable of taking anything from, you know, small game squirrels and pests like that at 50 yards or even, you know, coyotes and some larger type game, uh, what we would consider medium game into the, you know, 25, 30 yard range. And then you even have your big bores, you know, your 50 cals, your 45s, your 357s that are capable of taking anything up to deer size game. And in some cases, even larger, there's a wide array of things that you can do with pre-charged pneumatic rifles that simply aren't available at, uh, you know, at your fingertips with other air gun power plants, whether they be multi-pumps or uh, brake barrels, any of them. You know, you can certainly go small game hunting with almost any other type of air gun power plant, but once you want to get up into the larger game categories, PCPs are really the only way to go. Another main advantage that PCPs have is their quick, fast follow-up shot ability. Now, CO2 guns also do share some of these features. The Benjamin Wildfire here is a perfect example. It's actually based around the Crossman 1077, which is a, P a CO2 platform that is semi-automatic. Well, really a double action revolver, if you will, um, in a rifle format. But you have a 12 round magazine here that rotates you know, as you pull the trigger. So this gives you the ability to have fast follow-up shots. Now in a PCP format, it has a little bit more power. And while CO2 guns are the only ones that can match that repeater you know, type of action, they don't do it with the same kind of authority that a PCP gun does. You know, CO2 guns really max out in terms of power uh, at relatively low velocities and low energy levels, whereas PCPs can do it. You know, they're semi-automatic PCPs in large calibers, all the way up to, you know, 50 caliber in some of the Evanex guns. So there's a much wider array of energies that you're able to attain with a pre-charged pneumatic air gun with quick follow-up capabilities. Not only is that gonna be good for hunters, but that's also good for just general target shooters. If you're looking to have a little bit more fun in the backyard, a semi-automatic or even a repeating PCP is gonna do it every time. The last thing I wanna to touch on is temperature sensitivity. And this is important if you live in a hot environment, cold environment, or really anywhere in between. PCP air guns are going to be the least affected by temperature. And that's really important to know because if you do want to do some wintertime hunting, you know, your spring guns or your, you know, whatever your gas pistons or your CO2 guns may not be able to handle that cold weather or extreme hot weather, there's going to be more of a fluctuation in those other power plants, whereas PCPs are going to stay far more consistent regardless of the temperature. So guys, that about wraps it up for today. And this is by no means a comprehensive uh, discussion even of what the advantages are in their entirety. There are far more advantages when you start talking about specific guns or specific gun types. You know, bull pups versus full length rifles is a perfect example of that. But again, that just speaks to the variability that PCPs have. Whether you're looking for a competition gun, a fun gun for the backyard, or something to do some serious big game hunting with, PCPs bring 
everything to the table. And that's really why we wanted to sit down today and talk to you guys about some of their advantages. So definitely check them out on pyramidair.com for the insider. We'll see you guys next time.